What are the ramifications to the industry if FCMs disappear because they cannot maintain profitability? Well, FCMs are futures commission merchants in the U.S., and that would be analogous to clearing members in Europe. If FCMs were severely compromised in the U.S., that would be quite a significant problem, and those circumstances surrounding that would probably be very dire. I don't anticipate that we'll get to that point. But what I do predict is that we will see increased costs for different end users of derivatives. What has to happen before FCMs can return to profitability? I think there are a few things that actually need to happen, and those mostly surround the business models that are regulated by Basel III regulation. I think there's some amendments and clarifications that need to be made in those particular rule sets that European regulators and also U.S. prudential regulators need to deal with in order to make the business itself more profitable. That would create a streamlined effect for the end user of the derivative and, and be of benefit. What is a good strategy for firms that are grappling with these issues? That's a good question. As the end user of a derivative, Russell Investments actually acts as an agent on behalf of many different end users of derivatives. And what we're encouraging our clients to do, and indeed what we're doing on, be on their behalf, is actually making sure that FCM to FCM, we understand the costs and the different ways that FCMs are charging for derivative use. And that helps to level the playing field and also compare apples to apples so that the end user of a derivative can actually make a decision about which FCM to face as well as which products to trade.